good. I look so sleepy. So yesterday I was at the market and it was let me just let me just put it out there that it was exhausting. I had I I shouldn't have like put all the things I needed to do in one day. It was it was too much. So I woke up this morning feeling very tired and exhausted. That's probably why my voice is sounding a bit sounding. So mind all the should I say mind or don't mind? Okay, don't mind all the background noises. Um I'm just trying to vlog and not vlog really but like this video is to like show you guys the best um um best way to transition your child from solid from breast milk to solids now i'm not cutting down i'm not cutting off and um, feeding my child with breast milk but I'm, I'm introducing him to other types and kinds of food uh, so i've i've done a lot of research i've done a lot of, you know i had to do a lot of research because i felt it to be lost when uh, i wanted to start this journey let me be honest with you so i don't want anybody to be as lost as i am even though i asked questions i just needed to find what would be perfect for my son so i'm going to be trying a lot of things with him you know carefully trying a lot of things with him to discover and you know not make him a selective eater basically so yeah you might ask me why do i have to like document this i want to help first time moms who do not necessarily have people they can confide in on transitioning their babies to solids you know so i'm gonna be showing you how i'm gonna do that with my son and i hope this video is not a flop at the end of the day because i've not given my son solids but I, um, let me let me just state that i think from five months was the end of five months i said i do I, I would probably when i'm eating soup and any other thing i could just put it in his mouth to give him this weird taste so that he doesn't just be like completely away from anything other than breast milk so this was just um in preparation to introduce him to solid so welcome to this video and i hope it gives you all the details and information you need thanks so guys um i i got a couple a couple of things that will help me um with transition because actually the truth is feeding feeding a child a toddler or a baby especially you know they have a lot of reaching of hands trying to pull things trying to, you don't want to be you don't want to have to do a lot of work because of the messiness of feeding them so i got some things that would aid me um um the distress more or less like make it make feeding my son easier so i'm gonna be sterilizing it now it is not inexpensive please you want to be <clears throat> as conservative as possible with your phones you know because there's a long road ahead yeah so i like i said i went to the market yesterday so i got a couple of them and i'll be showing them to you with this cup i got um i got it 800 naira yes and basically why i got this one is i can detach this and he could either choose to just take from the cup directly because i'm going to be trying it and or with this um cp mount i don't know what to call it and it has a cover which is so important because they might not finish all the content immediately you want to preserve or you want to um prevent them from for, for germs you have to be as clean as you can when it comes to these babies honestly so and another thing i love about this cup it's this um this thing this rubber um seal so that the contents would not spill when you light on the side yes so in case my son accepts take it directly from the cup then i'll use this so yes or if he wants to sip or pull i will use now this particular one was given to me by my sister and what I plan to do with it is in case I need to go out, which of course I will be going out, all I need to do is to um, make whatever power or anything. I'm going to be mixing it inside here for my son and it, you can see how I'm struggling to open it, meaning it's, it's sealed properly so it, will, it won't spill in your bag and I love the, um, the 
material used inside it's it's gonna be it's more like an insulator meaning it wouldn't the food won't get cold easily my next favorite thing is definitely this spoon i have other spoons i didn't bring them here but i have other spoons but this one is so different because see it's a silicone spoon can you see that so even if my child chews on it now another thing you need to be careful is because you know your, your child at this point i'm almost certain does not have teeth <laughs> you know and or even if the child has teeth it might just be one side of it to go maybe the, it's usually the, the bottom um, gum that comes out first so this is soft and even if you choose on it, it gives this soothing feeling to to it will give you a soothing feeling to his gums especially because he's teething already my son is teething already so his gums are really itching this is another fave this is another fave now i saw this um on my on instagram i'm not sure i can't remember where it's going but i really needed to find it and i did and i love it now why i got this why i was so desperate to get it is because of the suction on the bottom now i told you your child is always trying to grab something at my well, let me just be specific my son is always trying to grab something and i don't want to see where i'm feeding him and he grabs the food and tosses it to the floor it is gonna be so annoying and i'm not interested in being annoyed so yes this suctions can you see this is the silicone beep i love this because i don't even know how to explain it but i love it and so guys i'm gonna be using my pressure pot to sterilize um every other thing so sadly this cup came out deformed i think the heat was so much for it and my husband said it too so i will use them like that too hey ah my whole 800 no please i'll use it like that just that the cover won't fit anymore <sighs> so sad